Hey, what's going on? I'm out here at uh, Tugger Beach, I think is what it's called. Uh, just a little bit up from the entrance, which is right there. That's the entrance right there. Um, it's pretty cool. I've never been here before. Lots of, lots of dunes. Uh, lots of nice flowers too, so that's cool. Um, I'm not really sure what I like most, <laughs> whether being up here on this vantage point or whether I should just go down there and have a look around. I'm thinking I might just go down there and have a look around, see what's what. Best weather to paint in. <laughs> it's windy and stormy. <laughs> um, but that's whatever. <laughs> a little bit puffed out. Ran up the um, ran up the dune. Pretty fucking high. <laughs> and my whole pack and everything weighs quite a bit. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking down on the beachfront didn't look that nice so I'm thinking uh, probably gonna do um, from up here there was a fisher dude fisher dude <laughs> there was a fisherman I just popped up on the beachfront there wearing high vis always a nice sign <laughs> that might that might be cool to to paint so I'm gonna play around with that so they're down there Kind of liking that. It's interesting. The scene is. I don't know. I'll play with it. And see what happens. All right. Checking in right now. Uh, you can see this is my composition. I've decided to add this sort of hill right here in front. Just it just makes it a lot more interesting. So that's what this is here, and that's the dunes coming down here, like you can see here, and the sort of uh, beach scene here, and then the horizon and then that distant sort of uh, uh, bit of land just through here and uh, then I got the sky through there and I'm gonna plop down uh, those uh, fisher people, fishermen uh, down there on the waterfront there as well so to make it real nice and dynamic this, uh, this lighting is super different to like what you'd usually consider what you'd usually consider plain air so um, hopefully this doesn't sound too fucked up <laughs> with the air and stuff there um, with the uh, wind and stuff blowing so hopefully it's okay to hear if not sorry uh, it's just too big and bulky to pull out the actual microphone right now um, so grin and bear it and I'm uh, gonna get to it because I don't have a lot of time before sunset like usual <laughs> all right let's get to it up but um man what a week we've had man like uh especially australia here i don't really know too much specifically what's going on in other countries but australia here man we just uh went into that partial lockdown i mean non-essential businesses have been uh, told to close and people being told to stay indoors and uh good old scott morrison is telling uh retail workers to work from home <laughs> Uh, man, it's it's wild out here. That's for sure. Uh, it's crazy, crazy time. But I'm out here doing the same old, same old, enjoying the landscape, painting the landscape, and uh, filming it so that you can not only enjoy the finished artwork, but um, enjoy the process that it takes to create these artworks. And uh, that's all I want these videos to be. I want these videos to just be this enjoyment that you can come and be amongst, immerse yourself in for 20 minutes or however long it takes uh, to get to the end of the video. <laughs> I'm just speeding up the video here so we can get really stuck into the painting. Uh, speeding along the sky here. Man, I just, lately I've had an affinity for stormy skies and I've been absolutely loving stormy skies. I don't know what it is. I've just been enjoying them so much, painting them so much. It's just been uh, a blast to paint them all. <laughs> so... Uh, that's that, you know. Uh, there's there's something new. <laughs> it's been a lot of fun painting these stormy skies lately. Uh, you know, 
just from just I don't know just realizing what you can do with it and the darkness of it and how sort of beautiful it is compared to a bright sunny day we would consider very beautiful but the stormy stormy day you know some people really enjoy stormy days I do uh, my partner Av does and little bub seems to sleep through them so <laughs> that's that but I've been really enjoying painting these uh, these skies lately just because they're so different you know there's a lot so they're so dynamic compared to most skies but yeah man uh this this past week has been super crazy hey i can just imagine it being so hard on a lot of people recently i left my job at nike uh which is just a retail store um i was just selling shoes really uh i left that pretty recently because my daughter aura she was born premature uh, i think most people know if not now you know <laughs> if you follow me on instagram and all that you'd probably you'd probably be well aware of, of what's been happening um but she was born pre premature so she actually was due to be born end of february and she came beginning of january uh so she was born at 31 weeks gestational and uh, if you don't know, full gestation is 42 weeks. So being 31 out of the 42 puts her back quite a lot. And uh, if you don't know much about pregnancy, being born, uh, like every single day, so much happens in pregnancy, like so much development, and let alone every single week, like so much is happening every single week in the, in the development of, of, of the child. Uh, so being born that many weeks early, uh, so many things can go wrong and thank God nothing did. Uh, we're very blessed here in Australia to have such a great healthcare system and a great uh, infrastructure to take care of um, when things like that happen. Um, so yeah, that happened. So so reason I'm talking about that is because uh, when that happened, beginning, uh, like uh, things weren't right before the uh, 2nd of uh, January uh, so I stopped working around about last year um, my last shift would have been boxing day so that's when I stopped working and then that's when everything started to spiral with the pregnancy and stuff like that and so we had to be in hospital a lot longer and so I stopped working to be there with Av because uh, Honestly, we didn't know when Aura was gonna be born. She could have something could have gone wrong at any second, any day, and uh, she would have had to come out. But um, yeah, so I stopped working back in uh, the what I say Boxing Day. Yeah, Boxing Day, and so that was my last shift, and uh, to be with Avin and my uh, baby girl um, while she was in intensive care for the last couple months um uh for the last actually she was in intensive care for a couple of weeks and then just low dependency for a couple more weeks so in total about a whole month and a bit i think uh she was in hospital so we w i was just there the whole time so i could i wasn't going to work during that time i was there taking care of av my uh, fiance and taking care of or my daughter so couldn't have happened at a better time to stay away from everybody <laughs> i guess <laughs> so that kind of just sort of slid into well i i you know whatever i'm just not gonna go back to nike and i'm just gonna focus on my painting uh completely 100 percent. like this is it then i guess you know i'll just i'll just be a full-time artist <laughs> and so well, it's been it's been great you know i've had commissions and uh it's been going really well uh, I've been painting a lot more, uh, and you know I already think I paint a lot, so painting a lot more is even more so. <laughs> so it's been everything's been going really, really well, and uh, I couldn't be happier with how everything's been going. Um, saying all that, you know, it couldn't have come at a better time to stop working in retail due to all this COVID nineteen shit, you know, and so this social isolation it just happened uh, inadvertently for me. It's checking in, still painting away, but you can see the uh, sky has changed completely, like the clouds, everything, everything sort of switched up, switched around. It looks so beautiful, honestly. <laughs> ah, man. Why on fucking God's good earth would you not paint? 
Why would you not be outside painting? You know? It's incredible. Paint's coming along. I'm liking the look of it. Getting far back from it. I'm liking the look of it back here. So if, you, if I'm liking the look of it back from back here, it's usually a good sign. <laughs> it's usually a good sign that, uh, that, it's, that it's going well. <laughs> God damn. I might just quickly have a look over the edge here. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm looking at. Yeah, look at that, hey? <laughs> Looks amazing, doesn't it? Beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, that sort of um, social isolation just happened inadvertently because, uh, you know, being a painter, I don't really need to be around people too much unless I'm doing uh, portraiture and stuff like that. But um, yeah, most of you would have heard I got signed to a gallery and uh, thank God they're doing really well still and uh, they're still going great. They've had a, they have a fantastic online presence and a great clientele, so they're still selling heaps and I just finished getting uh, several... Uh, seven pieces of work together for them and they're being framed at the moment and once they're finished being framed I'll drop it down to them and uh, we'll go from there and start selling works like that so that's been that and it's been really great so what I'm saying is uh, I, I guess it's just been I'm very fortunate to be outside of retail and outside of shopping centers and away from a lot of people during this crazy hectic time you know so I'm very very thankful for that you know, obviously me and Av are worried for little Aura's safety and especially for our own safety because if anything happens to us, then, you know, uh, God forbid anything happens to us and we've got to think about what happens to Aura as well because she's just a little baby. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, great times uh, mixed in with some uncertain times. How about that? <laughs> you know, what resonates with me a lot at the moment is um, something Alan Watts talks about. You would have heard in the last video, I talked about how I've been listening to a lot of Alan Watts. Uh, what's been resonating with me recently a lot has been uh, what Alan Watts talked about is um, don't take anything seriously. And uh, to take life seriously is just, you know, is, is, is stupid, is what he says. It's stupid to take life seriously. You should take it sincerely, but not seriously. Uh, taking things seriously implies that, you know, uh, taking it seriously, if you don't take it seriously, it, the the most horrible, incredible, uh, disastrous things could happen if you didn't take it seriously. Taking it sincerely means that you care deeply about what it is you're doing, but not so much that you think that uh, everything is going to go up in flames uh, and be damned to hell <laughs> if if you if you're not sincere about it you know what i mean so in this sort of time you know it's it's you know important to sort of just take a deep breath and breathe out and you sort of look around and be like oh yeah okay look it's it is pretty dicey at the moment for the normal way of life you know life is going to go on man like um, whether or not people die or you die, uh, if I face death, you know, death is just inevitable. And just because it happens to be something on the horizon now doesn't, you know, like just because you're reminded of it right now doesn't mean you should panic about it. You know, it comes for us all is what I'm trying to say. And so maybe this is a good time to reflect on if you live life seriously maybe you should start living life sincerely instead of seriously you know what that means what that kind of looks like I suppose uh, how would you sort of describe that I mean I suppose you would describe it as you don't get up and you don't think about your life in a way in which if I don't make the bills if I don't get money if I don't go to this place uh, and uh, acquire money and uh, pay off bills and get a house, get all these things and get, get my kids to school, college and get through my life to get to retirement, etc., etc. 
uh, everything will be disastrous. And if I don't do this specific thing at this specific time, everything will be even more disastrous. Rather, think about it as, okay, all right, so I'm a human being. I'm here on this earth. I have lots of different interests that I like and I don't like uh, just from, you know, personal experiences and where I've been brought up, what have you. And uh, maybe I can just start living life as it comes, you know. Not saying that you don't prepare for the future, that's not living. Not saying that sin- being living sincerely isn't that you are devoid of all uh, responsibility. What I'm saying is living sincerely is living in a way in which that you accept changes and accept things that are happening to you with a sort of lightheartedness, I suppose, is the best way to put it. Live lighthearted. Because in the end, everything ends, you know? And there's nothing you can do about it except to accept it, and reconcile with it, and be like, okay, if everything's going to end, eventually one day, sooner or later, take a deep breath, breathe in, breathe out, and be like, okay, all right. Suddenly, you know, life kind of opens up its doors to you. You sort of realize that, hey, I can do anything I want in this life. I can do anything I set my mind to in this life. You know, anything at all, anything at all. If you want to do it, you can do it. So let that, I don't know, sort of ponder on your mind for a little bit, living life sincerely. Maybe YouTube search Alan Watts living sincerely instead of serious or Google search either or have a look at that check it out all right so that's the finished painting pretty happy with that the lights all gone it's all faded the sky looks absolutely beautiful though so uh, there's that so that that's cool <laughs> But um, yeah, you can't really uh, you can't really see this painting too well. Uh, I'll try and film it again or show up a photo of it in better light. All right, so that's where my phone dies again. Like all videos so far, my phone has died before the end. <laughs> I've got my portable charger, but I haven't charged it up. I'm bringing it with me next time. I promise you'll get a proper finished and ended video. Otherwise, this is the painting. This is what it looks like at the end. Uh, I'm pretty stoked with it. I'm actually really happy with it all. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, please like, hit subscribe, leave a comment down below. I'd appreciate any sort of comment, negative or positive. Uh, we've been getting a lot of subscribers lately. It's uh, It's been really, really growing. Um, I hope everybody's staying safe out there and uh, keeping their heads on their shoulders. So I appreciate you all. And uh, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing and bringing joy to everybody's life as I imagine it does. And I hope it does. <laughs> Peace, everybody. I'll see you in the next video.